God damn it, this is gonna be- We're recording now. Great. Yeah. I, Hold I'm on, sitting... I, gotta, I gotta start too. Hold on. Go. Good luck. All right, go. <laughs> I'm sitting in the car because I was really nervous. I don't like talking in front of other people. Oh. And I do have a husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just go to the car. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I, um, I don't, I can only record my side of this. I just realized because <laughs> I'm a moron. Um, Wait, what do you mean you can only record one side? <laughs> my side of this. I can't record you because you're not? coming through headphones. Not, no, you, you record no, on no, Zoom. I, on Zoom. I know. I get it on the, um, uh, uh, wave pad. <laughs> how's, how's the car? Um, it's in the garage and it's kind of hot. Oh know. my god. See, get out of that. You're gonna like... <laughs> no, I put the window down. I'm you're gonna overheat. Smart. I don't even know where you are, but you'll probably overheat. Why don't we start like how we met so that yeah. makes more sense to anyone, if anyone's listening. That would make sense. Um, you go first, I suppose. I would like your story. So I do, I'm an SDR. So I book appointments for security companies or IT companies to sit and listen to a demo and um it actually what's funny is i didn't have you on my list i grabbed your number from this thing called lucia and i asked <laughs> you a guy's name that wasn't you <laughs> and i was calling him to book an appointment with him and when i was looking for your when you called me back i left a voicemail yeah. i couldn't find you didn't You're know right? what your name was right and I, I like i was like luckily you were in the right industry in the right title and well i booked an appointment with you but after we hung up i couldn't find you in the system and apparently i think your name is sedish i think it was wrong probably I'm calling you was not a mistake but it wasn't the person i was supposed to talk to but it worked out because yeah, i think so. An appointment, so i'm happy why um what, what did what drew you to me, I guess, would be the first question. Well, you answered the call. like Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, you answered the call. Like, hold on. My <laughs> in the background. I was yeah. like, wait, you called me. Not the other way around. You, you should don't have get to call people and go, hold on. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, wait, I'll call you back. Yeah, hold on. No, no. <laughs> uh, so sorry, I thought that going. was hilarious. And then you kept making joke after joke. Because I didn't know what I was doing. You didn't know what you were supposed to be doing. I had or no what idea. you were going to be doing. So, you know, it worked out. Do you remember any of the jokes per chance? No, not Shit. at all. I, did, I do remember you saying, oh, I haven't smoked before. But then literally a couple of months oh, ago, I, you just like, obviously you just told me you smoked. Oh, I smoked cigarettes. I, I was telling oh. you I don't smoke uh, uh, pot. Because you said something along the lines of... Uh, are, are you always this weird? And I was like, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't smoke pot or anything. Because <laughs> I was just giggling the whole time because I had just come off of a super heavy cry when you called. Um, like a real heavy cry, like the toddler, like the, I don't know what I'm, you know, that. that so then why'd you call me? Because back. you called me. <laughs> well, why'd you call back? Like you could have ignored the call completely. No, no, no. Well, I returned most calls i think that's, that's nice. like polite etiquette i don't know it yeah, just seemed like an other person you could just be like eh, it doesn't matter okay no. if they really need to <laughs> <laughs> i uh i honestly have no idea i just uh i <laughs> I, I um i don't know i i think maybe uh etiquette raise right uh manners i don't know <laughs> even though i've been a curse a lot until a lot of dirty jokes and stories and I smoke um <laughs> I still like to think I have you don't a... smoke pot that that's just correct sad. I used to a lot okay. uh, stop? What, well oh, shit that's a really long story but we might as well get into it I suppose at some point um yeah <laughs> so uh I guess this will be my life story pretty quick and it won't be quick but um I guess I started smoking pot and cigarettes when I was 12 or 13, somewhere in there, sixth or seventh grade. Uh, both my parents smoked cigarettes. Mm -hmm. um, and my sister's boyfriend smoked pot. So he was smoking with me while I was stealing cigarettes from my parents. 
<laughs> and they had no idea, obviously. Um, uh, that turned into like a really, really bad drug like leap addiction. Like I just graduated up all the way to like uh, <laughs> meth eventually. Oh, uh, yeah, I started selling that until I was oh, 18, 19. And uh, once I finished high school, by the way, Highest honors, top 2%. <laughs> what, what? So Hamil it worked for you. Ha Hamilton 05, um, mm -hmm. Chandler, <laughs> Arizona. Um, uh, I moved to uh, Tokyo for four years. Um, okay. and, wow. Well, first I went to U of A for a year, University of Arizona. Um, turned my dorm room into a meth lab and <laughs> uh, pretty much <laughs> fucked that one up. Um, then Tokyo for four years uh, to clean up did school there. Then I got back here in about 2010, 2011. Um, went to, whew, no, I started doing taxes, ended up managing four or five offices uh, for Jackson Hewitt. And from there, got a job doing Excel analytics and programming uh, at this company called E Squared, where I was last about three years ago, jumped up mm -hmm. to uh, like mean stack JavaScript uh, node developer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they let me go a month and a half ago, and I've been freelancing since. And <laughs> that's, pre that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah. So you went from math to uh, <laughs> no, clean? Uh, music? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have a complicated. Uh, life not I used to I mean not now now it's pretty much uh, just hang out have good friends be positive tell jokes uh, listen to good music and uh, have a beer when you know when you deserve it at the end of the week okay. that's it really I mean um, so otherwise what do you feel about like other people because I'm smoking right now like oh uh, really yeah oh yeah of course I, I wish I could smoke pot still but why couldn't you why I can't you? Oh, we should actually uh, call someone for this, but we're not going to. I will, <laughs> I will happily hand, hand you my phone if, if I knew where you were. <laughs> you could call anyone on my phone and say, uh, why can't Max smoke? And uh, they'd be like, uh, Matt, uh, he, <laughs> he might be allergic at this point. It's not that I'm allergic. It's that I was, it, it was $250 a gram in Japan, and I didn't have that kind of money because I was a poor student. And... Um, <laughs> I think being away from it for so long, I my body didn't keep up with how fucking strong it got so quickly. <laughs> and yeah. now if I even take like a tiny hit or eat like a piece of a brownie, I am dead, like dead to the world for eight hours. So it's not that I can't, it's that I just, I, I'm not fun. <laughs> I'm a, what do you call it? A, a, a problem. <laughs> okay, a problem. Like I'm a problem. Oh. No, I become like the, the end of your fun. If me and you were to smoke, it would just be making sure Matt's okay for eight hours as I slowly uh. die on a couch. Because <laughs> I just I did not keep up with how fucking strong it got at all. Well, that's the first time I smoked. I think I lied throughout high school saying, oh, yeah, I've tried it before. I wanted to be the cool kid because that was really awkward. Oh, yeah. Me and too. All my Jazz. friends are so cool. <laughs> But sure. I just couldn't keep up. And then the first time I smoked, I was 19. Wow. I was dating a guy. And yeah. he was a fucking pothead. <laughs> to be honest, the only reason I was dating him was because I, I I met him. And I needed a place to stay before I moved into my new apartment. Sure. And then we started dating. And then I never moved out. And then I ran away <laughs> <laughs> without telling him. That, that was... it's Like in the middle of the night? Uh, yeah, I moved to Florida. Oh, my God. <laughs> is that where you are currently? No, I'm in Texas. I'm in Dallas, oh my Texas. God. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, the first time I had it, he was a huge pothead. And he was like, hey, have you tried this before? I'm like, yeah, of course I have. No, I no. ended up sleeping on the couch for hours. Yep. I was out. Yep. But then I started doing it daily with him and his friends. Sure. And I built a tolerance. And then I forgot about it for like a couple years. Oh, and then you picked it back up because stress or... <laughs> just because um, it's fun? Yeah, just because I remembered one day. I was like, huh, I want to smoke again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do with a lot of things. Like, I, I smoked cigarettes for a little bit, too. Oh, um, cool. 
just because everyone else did. I, I'm one of those yeah, people. Because it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Are, are we roughly the same age? I don't even know how old you are. I'm 23. Oh my God, not even close. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? <laughs> 33. <laughs> okay, we're, that's not bad. That's a decade. <laughs> that's if you think it's a decade. That's true. <laughs> It depends on if you believe in time or not, I suppose. No, time is warping. You know, it goes <laughs> in and out and fluctuates. Uh-huh. Some Rick and Morty level. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> I, uh, damn. So, wait. Where'd you go to, where'd you grow up, I suppose? So, I grew up part in here in Texas, and then I went to Florida, and I lived sure. with my mom. Sure. <laughs> when you ran away? Oh, wait. No, you ran away with your family? Oh, that's like right. like elementary and high school. I lived in Florida. I graduated here in Texas because I ran away from home at 17. Oh, boy. About I did the same thing. You're popping, by the way, uh, your audio. Um, but uh, I digest. <laughs> I understand it's digress. Um, <laughs> please continue. Uh, so you ran away from home at 17, what? Um, Boyfriend? No. <laughs> My mom. Oh, yeah, dude. I got the same... Uh, yeah, same. Why'd you run away, though? Drugs, but my mom. <laughs> so your mom was preventing you from doing drugs? Or? No, she was part, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird headspace to get into. Uh, in, here's what I think, maybe. I believe <laughs> so uh, that guilt doesn't exist, right? There's only remorse. If you feel bad about something, personally, that that's feeling remorse, right? Okay. If you feel guilt, it's because someone imposes it on you, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt like guilty all the time because my mom made me feel guilty all the time about shit I did that was not a, like a big deal or bad or wrong. It just wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a B in any class was a no. <laughs> and no, I'm not Asian. <laughs> and I know that's a little racist, but let's, uh, let's just take a step back anyway. Uh, I just feel like because of the guilt I was feeling all the time, I started to do things to make me not feel as much guilt, like marijuana, like cocaine, mushrooms, acid, blah, you know, all run up the ladder. Mm -hmm. And in turn, that made her make me feel more guilty, <laughs> which in turn made me do more <laughs> and make her feel worse, made me feel more guilty. So it's just a cycle. Um, yeah, and then that, I mean, that happened with all four of her kids, though, uh, wow. which made her stress out constantly, which led to her back problems. <laughs> I'm going real dark here, real fast. No, but, like, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and that led to her suicide a year and a half ago. Um, wow. Yeah, because she couldn't handle the stress. Uh, she, she just, um, she had back pain that got worse and worse and eventually just couldn't walk. Took pain pills to get rid of the pain and then realize she was doing the same thing as her kids and went goodbye. So now let's sounds turn it like, to the lighter side. Of but things. like that sounds so similar to my mom. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I met the guy vacuuming probably is a similar story. <laughs> well, like for my mom, it was my parents got divorced when I was 12. And, sure. But it was already an abusive relationship because my mother was very jealous all the time. Physically she, or emotionally? Both. To my dad. Oh, wow. And I was little. I didn't understand. I just, I would hear them scream at each other. Like, <laughs> I'm not I'm, laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's No, sad. no. It's fine. You I know. <laughs> it, it helps you deal with it, you know? It does. Always. But, like, it slowly started getting worse. And at this time, she was not overweight or anything. She was average. So, like, size 12 or whatever. But she started going to the gym. And she started getting, well, my mom's beautiful, but she started getting more attractive and she started cheating on my dad with a gentleman already married uh -huh. at the gym. Sounds similar. Not mine, but just sounds like a, a familiar story. Yeah. And then wow. my parents started fighting. And then on Christmas or near Christmas, my dad like told us to pack up and we went into his car and we ran away to his friend's house. <laughs> Jesus. And, and this was like from... it was I was twelve, so Wow, young. Or I was like eleven. I, I was around that age and I just remember getting close to Christmas when my sisters, I'm the oldest of 
at that time four girls. Wow. And my sister. All same, both both parents? Yeah, both parents. Got it. (laughs) And then it like started getting bad. They got a divorce. But after everything happened, my mom put all her anger on me. Uh, At least that's what I felt. Yeah. So I started getting hit for anything I did. Oh, I Jesus. I couldn't keep my attention long enough. I have ADHD. Of course, I can't. Oh. I have an attention span of a squirrel. You know, meth helps with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I can't even take my Adderall medication or Vyvanse. Like, she would overdose me on Vyvanse. Oh, like, I was awful. already on 90 milligrams of Vyvanse at that Dude, time. Dude, you might as well have been on meth. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's the same, I, like... Drug levels. Oh, it was horrible. And then if I did anything wrong, she would give me another pill. She's like, did you take mm-hmm. it today? So it started getting worse and worse and worse. And Dude, we, this I is, I think, why we were kind of drawn somehow together. This is so, so similar. It's crazy. She did get I, addicted to drugs for her back pain as well. Oh, like, my God. She started getting addicted to drugs, and then she started getting worse. And then I haven't, like, I spoke to her on and off. But I really don't. And then, like, when not was the last time you talked? Oh, sorry, go. Like a year and a half ago, in person, and wow. right after that, she tried committing suicide from one oh of my, my sister's. Oh my god! Told me. Yeah, this um, is so freaky. <laughs> yeah, but now she has two daughters that are twin girls that are about new a year ones? and a half. Yeah, new ones. Like Jeez. you decided to have new children. Yeah, we'll try this again. Well, yeah, there's. <laughs> Yeah. Right after, like, she decided to have new kids. And my uh, sister, now that she's 17, or she ran away at 17 as well, to live with me. And well, my- I'm very sorry for you. Um, I was never, ever hit. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that's like. I'm sure it's awful, uh, and I'm sorry. But, damn. <laughs> yeah. I was always raised uh, never, ever, ever touch anybody unless they ask you you know what i mean like i won't even like go for a handshake unless someone goes for it first like you just don't touch people that's good kind of um it leads to a lot of weird things where like when people come up behind me and tap me on the shoulder i'm like i, I don't know it's, it, i kind of freak out a little bit i'm like what the f- <laughs> don't touch me <laughs> like ping me or like call me you know like, don't sneak up behind me and tap me on the shoulder. So I think it led to a lot of weird, like, insecurities, especially, <laughs> especially like, yeah. But, you know, plus, you know, I've never been in a fight, which is, I mean, a good thing. That's because, good. you know, it was uh, always, like, you know, be the pacifist, right? So are you still a pacifist? Always, yeah. I've never been in a fight. I never will be. I God willing. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I'm ever in one. I'm just going to get my ass beat because I'm not going to swing. <laughs> I've always been, uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to talk my way out of almost everything ever in my life, <laughs> uh, including fight situations and a lot of legal uh, troubles. <laughs> so, That's good though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's fortunate for sure. And it's definitely, um, I, I guess, uh, good for... English and vocabulary and, you know, what has become the lexicon <laughs> that I have uh, been fortunate enough to pick these skills up. I think because my dad was a lawyer, I learned how to argue kind of well, except I hate arguing. So as soon as someone says something like mean or, mean or rude, as long as I know that they're not trying to get physical, I will usually just walk away. But if they, I know they're not trying to get mean or physical and they just want to argue, I will argue all day. <laughs> interesting you know what i, I mean? think now i do that but when i was younger i would get physical like i was oh. overprotective of my sisters like i got into four different occasions where i got into fights with older boys or a random girl that tried beating up my sister well that's a little different because that was not selfish that was you know you're being the mom that wasn't working right if you think about it yeah i'll think about it that way because every once in a while, I'll have, like, that reaction, like, a playful reaction, but I'll hit people. Oh. I, I oh, know like it's not the, uh, good. No, 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 like on the shoulder? Yeah, I, hope. I do yeah, it. Yeah, I know that one. I got I it. I do it a little too much and to strangers sometimes. Like, it's not good, and I know it's not good because I've been called out on it. Oh. Especially when I moved here. <laughs> I like my family. They're like, Jackie, don't do that. Like, why do you do that? <laughs> but to me, it just seems normal. Oh. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. I mean, playful um, it, shoulder slaps, it, they do. But I, I do those to my close friends and family members, like close. Um, and apparently I've been called out on it too for doing it way too hard. So it's really funny because I'll pat people on the back and they're like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> I'm like I'm not strong. I don't understand how this could be hurt, like hurtful, but or painful. But, uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> this is getting so like dark. I love it. Um, it's fine, I guess. Do you have any kids? I do. I have a 11 month old. <laughs> I thought you were about to say 11 kids. I'm like Jesus. Oh. <laughs> At 23, how? <laughs> the fact that you would thought 11 <laughs> already like questionable. <laughs> Well, I got, I got like five siblings, so I, I mean, Eleven's not far off. I'm the oldest of eight girls. Oh my God! Catholic? Yeah, Mormon. Uh, yeah, Catholic. I think nice. my Me mom too. is Catholic. Christian. My dad's Catholic, Jesus. but my dad has six, and then my mom. No pun intended. I said six. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to remember. Hey. So you have like 82 nieces and nephews too? <laughs> I'm the only one with kids. I'm oh, the oldest. Damn. I guess not. <laughs> oh, that's uh, right. I guess then the one under you would be, what, 20, maybe 21. And then just uh, down from there. So the, probably. I think she's 21. Yeah. Wow. So not for a while, but it'll happen. <laughs> Do yeah. you have a lot of cousins? <laughs> uh, I, have, I have so many cousins. Side, no. I can't even name them. <laughs> it's sad. And then I get called out for missing their birthdays too. I'm like, I don't even know your name. How am I gonna fucking call you on your birthday? <laughs> I don't know What's your that? phone number. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I remember, um, uh, you know, we're in Phoenix, right? So I'm floating in the pool. It was like a year and a half ago. It was like, I swear to God, less than a month before my mom died, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're floating out. My, uh, my, me and my uh, friend had a. Uh, I was living with him at his house. We're floating in the pool. It was like a, I'm moving out party because I was going to move uh, out to my dad's because he, I think, I don't know if I'm getting the story backwards or not. I am getting the story backwards. doesn't matter. We're floating out in the pool and my cousin uh, Pete is in the pool with me. And I turn to him and I go, you realize that uh, as soon as one of our moms dies, because his, his mom and my mom are sisters, as soon mm -hmm. as one of our moms dies, uh, we're never going to see any of the rest of the family ever again, right? <laughs> and he goes, Shit. he goes, that's kind of sad to think about. He goes, but I think other than me and you, yeah. <laughs> wow. And it's been a year and a half and I haven't heard from anybody but him. Well, that's I mean, and, and his sisters, but it's like the whole, that side of the family just kind of went, uh, took off, uh, not took off. I mean, they're all on the East Coast still. They just don't call or check in or see how I'm doing which is a selfish thing to say because no, I don't see how they're doing either <laughs> like it's a two-way street but why am I uh, like offended that they're not reaching out because it's my in mom your mind, it's yeah in your mind it's your mom so they need to do yeah but it's, like it's their sister aunt you know what I mean like but it's, also it's like when the person's not in front of you, why are you going to remember to call them or talk to them? I have exactly. a really bad habit of not talking or calling or texting people that are not in front of me. Like I suck at texting already. I, I don't am, like it. Oh my God. My fingers don't work on smartphones. I press the screen and it hits every button except where my finger hit. <laughs> of course it does. So I send a lot of audio messages as I'm sure you've noticed. Um, yeah. Or a lot of them are, uh, what do you call it? Like talk to text and those come out. Those are the ones with all the typos. <laughs> uh, but the ones that are actual text take me forever to write. Just, I just answer when I see it, and it's always like, answer the questions he asked, and then just <laughs> <laughs> leave it at that. <laughs> because I just don't like texting. There's, I prefer phone calls. Just, I prefer face-to-face. -face. Every time someone texts me, I'll pretty much just call and be like, what do you want? I don't, I don't have time. <laughs> like, what do you want? What do you I, want? I, I, can't, I don't, I don't have time to type that right now. <laughs> just try your best. Just say it. That's oh sad. my God. Like, <laughs> never thought about that. Maybe I need to reach out to a couple people now. You definitely should. Here's the thing. Like, I mean, honestly, legitimately, my best friend is my younger brother, Tim, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's my only full sibling uh, mm -hmm. or full brother. We don't distinguish the haves like because i'm close with all 
of them. I mean, very close, like daily conversations close. That's nice. <laughs> with all five of them. But so Gosh. the only, my parents both were married like by 20 and had two kids like immediately from, you know, different marriages. Mm. Um, they each had a boy and a girl in that order. Oh, lucky. Then they got divorced uh, from, you know, previous, married each other uh, and then had me and my younger brother. So there's four boys and two girls, but technically only my younger brother is, you know, full brother. Mm -hmm. um, he is still in Japan or back in Japan, I should say. Um, he lives on a tiny island uh, called Omami Oshima. Mm -hmm. um, me, me and him met his wife at this uh, bar that they used to roll out into the middle of the park we lived near in Tokyo. And uh, <laughs> uh, that bar was so much fun. It was a bar this lady would roll out this wooden table that was like the size of, uh, I mean, a big, a large kitchen. <laughs> and wow. We'd just roll this table out that had every like liquor you could possibly want and some like draft beers and shit. And uh, we met her there. Um, so he's still there. And me and him rarely talk. He, he came and lived here for a few years, a few years ago, uh, just moved back about two years ago, which was a mm -hmm. oh, terrible day, but he's got the two cutest fucking kids you'll ever meet in your mm -hmm. whole life, and I fucking hate children, but these kids are goddamn, they're the cutest <laughs> things you'll ever see. Why do you uh, hate children? Uh, they're germ-ridden, and they're selfish, and they're arrogant, and they're assholes. <laughs> All they care about is themselves, and I say this going, why is nobody calling me? Yeah, I understand. It's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> but I think it's true. a product of the parent, not the child. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> like, literally, that child has to learn everything. <laughs> that's definitely I know. the mirror image of the parents. I know, and that's why they all suck. Maybe if I had one, it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> uh, maybe you should try to have one. Uh, it's kind of, oh, man, that's a whole other story. Let me get to my quick point about this one. Is my younger brother is my best friend, and uh -huh. we don't talk often. I mean, uh -huh. we'll talk once a month, maybe. He's the one I talk to the least, despite being my closest friend. Like, he was my partner in crime. <laughs> wow. And, but when we talk, I mean, it's meaningful. We don't have the, you know, the bullshit check-in talks that you have, like, with certain people. Like, I we just talk don't when make it, those calls. We just talk when it matters. Yeah. Right. Right. That was the point, is that sometimes you can have you know, relationships or contact with people that isn't always constant, but is improving on some sort of basis or staying relevant, Yeah, if you know what I mean. I have one of those friends. Like, I literally <laughs> call him randomly and be like, hey, I'm here. Do you want to hang out? And he'll come and we literally will pick up where we last left off or he'll just show up at my apartment. Exactly. And just like, hey, what's up, that's, Jackie? That's so weird. Um, you said he's a male friend? Yeah, most of how my friends your, are males. Like, how does your husband feel about that? So, my husband and I are actually a very different relationship. Sure. Um, he's not jealous. He doesn't care. He's like, hey, you're mine. You're with me at night. I don't care. He's that, he has okay. that my type of mentality. Okay, I thought you were about to say open, and I was like, that's... Yeah, that's where I was going, but then I was like, wait, if someone hears this, now they'll yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, we're in an open marriage. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. What's yeah. that like? It's cool. I can, I feel like I have no constraints. I love him more than I will love anybody in the whole world. Sure. Well, except for my daughter. Right. Um, uh, well, I, I heard that, that kids are always like, the love is un Oh yeah, it's weird. It's, it's the weirdest thing. But it's easy with him. I don't have to worry about, because I am bisexual, I don't have to worry about, like, oh, I can't look at that person. I don't right. believe that you're in love with someone because it just happens. I think you have to try daily. Oh, and yeah. on top of that, I don't think that it's fair to ask someone to be their perfect person, sexually, mentally, physically, it's emotionally. It's just not possible. And that's not fair. So I don't I put that on him. I, I agree, but I took a different route, which is hilarious. What, what route did you take? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't quite call it silly because I'm not 
<laughs> getting married. Right. I, uh, I pretty much, uh, have, you, have you heard of Saluga Mate? It's in the news. No. People are getting married to themselves. Um, okay. <laughs> solo, like solo. Yeah. And That's then polygamy. Awesome. So, yeah. Saluga-mate. yeah. Um, I swore off uh, women uh, like, fuck, I want to say seven years ago. I had a few girlfriends in a row cheat. And this was when it was definitely defined as not a good thing to do. <laughs> Like, please don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just, I don't, I'm not emotionally intelligent enough to handle another heartbreak or another, I guess, uh, cheat unless it was agreed upon ahead of time. So I just checked out and fatted up because <laughs> I was so, like, fuck it, fuck it, who cares? Right? So I'll just be just happy and enjoy life. Date anyone? Never, probably. I won't say never, never say never, but probably not. And I have a few bets going related to it. So right now I'm I'm looking at about seven thousand dollars if I can last till April. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hopefully you get there. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I should, because they say like, you know, that's when it happens is when you're you've given up. That, I don't know. It, it does. That's how but, I met my husband. <laughs> exactly, right? But yeah. It's it's nice. Like I'm I'm honestly happy, and people do not understand how that's possible. And I'm like, is it possible that in your head, your definition of a relationship or a girlfriend is like indoctrinated, like you're almost like a religion because you yeah. were raised with the idea that you're supposed to meet exactly. a girl and settle down with them. It's dependency. Like you're dependent on that idea. Exactly. You're well, depend exactly not on them on the idea. On the idea because my. Dude. In my oh, head, you fucking idea, nailed it. It's ridiculous. My, in my head, the idea of being in a relationship has to be like what I saw in <laughs> Spanish novelas and what oh I my saw God. on Are you Spanish channel. descent then, I suppose? Uh, yeah, I'm Colombian. That would make Italian. sense. Wait, with what? Quarter Italian? Yeah, Colombian Mama, and Mama Italian. Mamma mia. Good lord. Yeah. So in <laughs> my head, that's just what it needs to be. And I know my husband's not really good in the romantic side but he tries his best yeah i'm happy with it yeah good but, Wait, you mean romantic or do you mean uh, bed, bed, bed. no romantic <laughs> okay there's, got it. <laughs> there's different stuff i know romantic that's his fault got it <laughs> but no i sorry that was a that was kind of personal but i figure fuck it why not i'm not new for 30 years anyway oh <laughs> <laughs> um, that's true yeah um so um Wait, all right. I, I got a lot of questions. For oh, go for it. Okay. Do you think you're doing this because you're not emotionally? How do I explain this? To me, what it seems like there's a lot of work that needs to be done on you emotionally. Yes. And are you doing anything about it? No. Why not? I don't know. Okay. Probably because I, man, we are really digging deep. <laughs> If I had to try to find the words for it, it would be that I'm afraid of what I'd find. Well, yeah. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no. Like, that, like, that was 100% serious and real and scary to think about. But, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's going to be reason. horrible. Yeah, that's why I'm, like, I'm just bury it, you know, Irish, oh. whatever, uh, drink, just, we'll just drink it. Because oh, I promise go. you, it's going to come out in the worst way. Oh, it probably has. I'm sure, I'm sure that it had something to do with uh, the fight I had with my, my best friend on Tuesday. <laughs> the one that, led, that one that led me to the uh, cry fest uh, that led to uh, your call. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, By the way, that was the craziest fucking day of my life. Explain, question. because I never got your side. Why? Oh, shit. All right, so let's see. All right. Uh, so Tuesday, what day was that? So everyone else that's listening knows. Oh, and there, everyone else all know people. Uh, uh, well, right Crying. now, right now, <laughs> nineteen, the nineteenth okay. of May, twenty twenty, okay. I think. <laughs> that's the only one I'm unsure of is the year. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess it all started when my mom died, right? Mm -hmm. um, my my friend's ex girlfriend. <laughs> who I really only had phone contact with once in a while, or usually for marijuana-related activities. Um, me and her became best friends because her mom had died in a similar fashion. It was suicide, but it wasn't suicide-suicide. It was alcohol-induced. She drank herself to death. Oh, wow. 
but I'm pretty sure it was semi-intentional. I don't know, and I don't want to offend her if she ends up hearing this, so maybe not. But that's my understanding of the situation. Mm -hmm. Me and her became real close, and I mean real close, like hanging out daily, 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 talking every day, you know? Um, and she has been dating, uh, uh, I don't want to say his name, but a guy uh, for like five years here. Um, after she broke up with one of my best friends, right? <clears throat> so, um, she, uh, disappeared on Thursday, um, a week and a day ago. And then texted me at night something super cryptic that I read as a suicide message. She's like, I'm going to California, I'm alone, and I'll text you how I'm feeling when I get to the right spot or something along those lines. I'm thinking murder. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking so something, something. I don't know, something, right? Okay. So, so I start freaking out because why? Well, I mean, I, it, <laughs> my mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I had uh, two friends die this fucking month anyway, just of general lack of caring for themselves, which was, uh, man, seriously, I didn't have a death to deal with really until my mom. Like, I made it all the way to like thirty without a death. It was pretty good, good run. Um, uh, but she took off, left me that message, and I was like, uh, hello, I'm kind of worried. The message was cryptic. I'm thinking you're going to do something stupid. Please just hit me back. And then I would call her. No response. No response. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday morning rolls around, and she calls me, and she's like, hey, I'm back. And I'm like, where the fuck were you? Like, Gosh, man. I really thought she got murdered. <laughs> I'm like, you right? I was sitting here thinking she was murdered. <laughs> no, oh no, I told you we, we, <laughs> we've been fighting. <laughs> so okay, continue. I'm like, I'm like, where the fuck have you been? And she's like, you're my fucking dad. It's not your business. And I'm like, you're my best friend. Like, <laughs> you can't. I don't. I don't have friends that would not respond to me for five days if I'm trying to reach out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and at plus, I can't have friends like that. Like, I. Again, I don't have the emotional maturity, probably because of, you know, drug stunted emotional status. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I, because I started doing fight math at like 14 or some shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, emotionally, I just like, I can't, I just can't have that in my life. Like, you can't just go. You can't just disappear and reappear. Okay. I mean, you can, but that's if we're both not talking to each other. If I'm trying to get a hold of you and you're gone for five days, no, like we, we we joked about this remember i was like yeah i'm like you can go do whatever the fuck you want and you're like and i'm like oh but if it's more than 48 hours i'm gonna have to file for support yeah now i understand <laughs> exactly. that i was like okay it's, that was hilarious but it's because of this right oh, so wow. <laughs> she's like yeah you can't tell me today and i'm like well and i can't have friends that are willing to just disappear on a friend on their best friend for five days if yeah. i am actually your best friend and she's like you are but this is how it's going to work. And I'm like, not for me. Sorry. I got to cut you loose. But I'm always here if you want to renegotiate. <laughs> I'd said it in better words, but yeah, that was no, essentially that's the point. Yeah, a perfect way to do it. That was a healthy way to cut someone off. I that's think. what I thought. Uh huh. What and I mean, do? I still think. I still think I'm. Okay. I was. I think. I still think I did it correctly. <laughs> uh -huh. as, as correctly as you could do something like that. Um, we have been talking. Um, I'm actually. I, I'm supposed to call her as soon as this is over. She just hit me up like right before this started and was like, here, fuck it. I'll just, uh, I'll, uh, I'll read it. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's so sad. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Um, okay. She says, Hey there. Oh, looks like I just missed your cutoff. Uh, it's looking like you should call me when you're done with everything. I'm so happy for you. You have a lot to be thankful for you. I'm finally starting to miss you, buddy. And it, just kidding. <laughs> I've actually been missing you the whole time. I feel like we need to clear the air in person and hold hands and run and yell out what we are squashing as we run together. <laughs> okay. It seems like people are pulling at you for your like uh, personality and talent. Be careful. And I was like, buddy, I fucking thank God you said that. I miss you. I fucking I'll call you. I can't wait. So it might work out. Um what I might work out. This friendship. 
your, yours and mine or hers? No, and hers. hers. <laughs> oh, I was like, what she, she, she just reached out to me today that's and awesome. was like, I miss you. Please, can we fucking squash this as we run hope, and hold hands and jump in a field? I hope it works. I me hope too. it works out. Wouldn't you that have be to nice? let me know. Yes, it would be. Of course I'm going to let you know. Uh, no. <laughs> you're okay. my new best friend. <laughs> your mic is making that weird oh, static shit. sound again. I it's think it's phone. your phone. It, it has is to the be. Phone. It's got to be. 100. Um, how about now? No, you're good now. Perfect. So, um, yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing like 90% of the talking. I apologize. So you're not. Like, uh, um... <laughs> but that led to that. So I spent that whole day in bed crying, right? Tuesday, yeah, the nineteenth. What do we agree it was nineteenth? Yeah, nineteenth. Perfect. Okay, Wednesday, mm-hmm. uh, or Tuesday night, I suppose. I have a dream where <laughs> this is so this is so fucking dumb. I'm in my kitchen and I hear the f- phone ringing, and the phone is a wall-mounted corded phone. Like okay, from back in the day yeah, uh-huh. that you probably didn't grow up with, but I did. I did. I, I know okay, what thank that God. is. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> do you remember Not like before knows. the internet? <laughs> yes, I do. I do oh, remember. Uh, wow. Okay. I have a really good memory. And those were That's... like some things I'm like, Hey, I still remember that. Mine is weirdly sporadic, but long term, I remember stuff. It's stuff that happened the last like month. I don't usually remember, but then once it hits long term memory, it's right there. Anyway, um, so my dream. Dream. Phone's ringing. It's on the <laughs> bottom of my kitchen table for some reason, like mounted okay. under the kitchen table. So I get on the floor to go <laughs> crawl to the phone. Uh-huh. And the, when I get on the floor, the table is now like the size of a football field. And there's uh-huh. thousands of legs and they're in no fucking particular order. <laughs> so I'm like crawling and squirming and trying to get to this phone that's ringing on the ceiling. Or mm-hmm. I guess the uh, bottom of the table. It's now the ceiling in my head because it's yeah. No, no, no I get it. I, yeah. I get okay. the picture. <laughs> got it. I get it. All right, and I get stuck between two pegs because I'm fat and it's easy to do because <laughs> they're all over the place. And I can see the phone <laughs> and I can't reach it. And I'm like pulling on like uh, there's like uh, uh, you ever see like an attic drawstring? Yeah. To get yeah, okay, so I'm pulling on attic drawstrings and okay. decks of cards are falling out for some reason. I okay. don't know what the point of that was. However. Uh, <laughs> I get stuck and I give up and I just lay on my back and I'm just like looking at the ceiling and I hear in the phone ring and I'm like, oh, this fucking sucks. I'm stuck. And I look to the left and my last, the last girl I had as a friend, not, I mean, mm-hmm. completely platonic friend, um, last best girlfriend, I, I guess, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Right. Um, is laying there and she goes, hey, I'm stuck too. And I was like, we got to stop meeting like this. And then I wake up, <laughs> which is weird because I'm funny in my dreams. <laughs> I'm making okay. jokes in my dreams. Is fucking of course you are. That's, that's I, how it used to be. <laughs> so I wake up and I, I haven't talked to her in years. I mean, eight, nine, maybe. Mm-hmm. Since I, when, when I first got back from Japan, I saw her uh, momentarily at what turns out to be a brewery, what I thought was a hookah lounge. <laughs> okay. We, we talked today. So um, anyway, I I ping her brother because her younger brother and my younger brother were best friends. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy, can I get in touch with your sister, ironically named Crystal? Um, <laughs> um, I feel like she might be in trouble. Uh, I had this dream, explained it to him. He's like, here's her number. And I fucking called her and she was like, that's so weird. <laughs> You're listening to your intuition. That's amazing. Not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of people can hear it. Uh, plus, I... I remember like eight to 15 dreams a night, which oh, is wow. a very, very rare lucky. thing. That's very not, lucky. not usually because most oh, of them are true. gruesome, horrific nightmares. I mean, I'm so sorry. Ask, ask anybody who's ever slept or shared a hotel room with me or slept near me. It's I I'm screaming like and crying uh-huh. in my sleep all night, all night. <laughs> I wake up crying from dreams constantly. <laughs> I, I do that, but not that often. Okay. Well, Imagine remembering 15 of them. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, okay. See, because then you'll, yeah, it happens. It's anyway. So that was event one of Wednesday, the craziest day. Uh-huh. Event two, took my buddy to the gun store. Uh, I don't want to get into stances on guns right now. <laughs> I'm not a fan, but I approve of the right. Like, I don't want one, 
I'll never have one, but uh-huh. I don't care if you do. Well, no, you're a pessimist. Exactly. Wait, no, I'm an optimist. <laughs> Life is always going to be amazing. No, what's, I forgot the word now. Oh, pacifist. Pacifist. Ah, I'm a pacifist through his face, maybe. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to remember it. I need to remember it that way. I'm going to. That's how I remember shit. The opposite like, of I that. Find, I remember trying to remember is like the, uh, um, oh, the periodic table for chemistry right there's hydrogen helium uh-huh. no, no no do you remember potassium banana letter yes thank you <laughs> Mon- monkeys eat bananas bananas have potassium okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit like that um they're uh, what are they called i fucking now i'm drawing a blank on the word to recall words which is funny <laughs> however um <laughs> so <laughs> taking my buddy to the gun store uh-huh. We get to this place, and this dude holds us technically. However, it was amazing and awesome and fun. Technically hostage via vocal cords for like okay. three hours. He like tied us up with his word. He like wouldn't let us his walk away. His word throw up. Seriously, he, he was he like got me. You stuck in his word throw up. And- yes, like me. He just wasn't <laughs> as entertaining. <laughs> or not. No one's just yeah. No one's. Like <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Much love. Um, he. He's he's very talented though, and he I mean seriously like he would make Liam Neeson from Taken like <laughs> look look like I'm gonna look when I get my first fight. This dude he'd been, he had my friend hold a gun at his head, and he said I'm gonna say go you pull the trigger and I'm gonna have the gun out of your hands at you on the ground before you get to before you can pull the trigger. And he did this like that? in a row in a row in a row yeah he teaches it out scary. here. It's insane. I gotta send. I'll send you the links to the videos. Um, I didn't record Please. them. He, but he, you know, while he had his hostage, made me watch all of them on YouTube as well as demonstrate them. <laughs> so I'll all send right, you. I'm gonna learn it. They're they're. Uh, oh, he'll teach it to you too. Uh, they're he's impressive. He's like CIA instructor for like well, 18 years. I'm in Dallas, and you're like all the way over there. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. I, I, yeah, no. You watch the YouTube. I mean. Yeah, no, I'm going to watch the YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't teach you. you can't. <laughs> yeah, you can't teach me either. You know, <laughs> Rona, like, we can't even travel. Oh, that's right. Fuck. I, dude, I keep forgetting yeah, that just that's like, happening. <laughs> there's a virus going around. Well, I uh, <laughs> I tend to spend a lot of time at home regardless. Like, I was <laughs> working true. from home for years yeah, before this day. anyway. Uh-huh. So I'm used to this. Like, that's nothing hilarious. has changed. In my it's the mind. people who are thriving right now. It yeah, it seems to be right. I mean, like suddenly I'm like making three times as much money just freelancing. It's wild. <laughs> it really is a good time to be a programmer, I think. Oh yeah, it um, is, definitely. Continue. So anyway, sorry, weird day. Good. We're good. It's all they're all weird. Trust me, but they're all amazing, and that's the purpose, right? Of life. I think so. Well, I'm going to get into that in a second. However, uh, so that was number two. Number one, Dream reconnected me to an old friend. Uh, Two was the gun shop, which was just a weird fucking dude. So Mm -hmm. I take my buddy back to his house. Mm -hmm. um, And that was when I knocked over not one but two glasses of uh, Coca-Cola off his island okay. and they shattered they shattered across the kitchen right so i knock one of our shatters he spends like 30 minutes cleaning vacuuming he's a neat freak right mm-hmm. number two i knock the second one over as soon as he finishes <laughs> <laughs> and so he's cleaning that i fall to the floor i'm like on my butt just like weeping sobbing because that second glass, I don't know why, it just reminded me of like all the bad shit that has happened in the last year and a half from my mom up through cutting off my best Of course, it's friend. the trigger. It's like that yeah, one little it was thing. The it's just like <laughs> the straw that broke the camel's back. I know. And uh, so I'm on the floor sobbing oh. and I pull my phone out and I see I missed the call. So I called you, I guess. I called the number and you answered. And I was just trying to cheer myself up. Like, so I was just <laughs> like trying to laugh and tell jokes. <laughs> on this phone call that I wasn't quite sure what it was for. For a minute, I mean, I thought you were a headhunter. What's a headhunter? It's the opposite of what you do. What, it's, what? Uh, a headhunter is someone who finds people to work at other places, not find, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> you, 
it's like a bounty hunter, but instead of finding prisoners, you're finding programmers generally, but it's for every industry. You yeah. find specific people for specific jobs and you get a cut of whatever their salary is. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So <laughs> I am trying to like be funny and like upbeat on the phone with you while I'm still like kind of, kind of crying hard. <laughs> and you, you were like, are you always like this? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I hope so. I think so. <laughs> and then you were like, I, I'm just, I, I think you, I don't know. I think we should talk. I'll hit you up later, like personally, right? Mm -hmm. and I think that's where we met, right? Yeah, like right after I, I got off the phone with you, I was laughing so hard. I called my manager. <laughs> I was telling him what was going on. And he's like, Jackie, don't call him back. And I was like, as I was what pressing connect with LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do it. He doesn't know that I'm talking to you right now. Like, I consider it oh telling my God. Him, but I was like, no, it'd just be weird. Hey, I just started a podcast with this random dude I met on the phone that I was supposed to pitch for this thing. And you know, we're best friends now. Thank you. Isn't that fucking... <laughs> I feel so bad for anybody anybody that ever listens to this but no, it's, it's funny it's really funny come out of this like so yeah. if everything if everything goes smoothly like us deciding to start a podcast just because we're like hey we're gonna be in a comedy show together <laughs> over a phone call and now we're oh, like yeah. hey, let's start a podcast and i made an instagram and like, <laughs> we're doing this i i swear i was gonna have my buddy come over and vacuum in the background for this and i forgot <laughs> completely <laughs> Anyhow, oh my god, I, what was the comedy show? Uh, oh, that was it. It was me doing stand-up with this guy in the background. And you you suggested maybe a podcast, I think. Yeah, why right. not? Because uh, I right. listen to Hold on. so many. Oh, go for it. Oh, what are you listening to? Um, so, well, I listen to like murder mysteries. That's why I oh, thought she was dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I watch, um, what's it called? Uh, damn. And now I have to look it up. In foil hat. No. Um, no, I I literally listen to them every single day. Oh yeah, my favorite murder. Oh, it's a great one. I, I um, love them. They're hilarious. Oh yeah, they're great. And, and um, then I listen to um, I think his name is Russell Duncan, the guy that did um, that new show on Netflix. <laughs> There's a lot of them every day. <laughs> and have to be more specific. <laughs> it's um, gospel. What's it called? Hold on, I'm looking at <laughs> Netflix show. I, I'm, I'm literally looking up gospel Netflix show. <laughs> it's trippy. He does. Like, oh wait, you texted that to me. That's why I yes. went and Google that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. I have to Google wow. it again. The Talk about a callback. <laughs> callback to the name. I think. I hope. No, we'll it's see. Midnight Gospel by yep. Duncan Trussell. Yep. I looked it okay. up. I, I had Google that, Google that for me. So he does these, <laughs> he, he talks about like life and spirituality and going oh, on that's and cool. ascending and, and like about th like therapy and a just a bunch of stuff. How to become better with yourself. That's but I can need more shit like that in my life. You, you really need to listen to it. That's why I sent it to you. Thank but you. I have not The last yet, episode, don't watch the last episode. It's sad. Uh, listen, uh, me and my buddy see a movie every Thursday up until this pandemic started. And it's every fucking you. movie I have seen involved a, the mom dying. I mean, even okay. fucking Pokemon, Detective <laughs> okay, Pikachu. This would be perfect for you. <laughs> started I'll, with the mom dying. I'm like, yep, of course. Why not? <laughs> I'll ruin it for you so that it's Please that do. hard. Okay, so his mom and him oh. do this podcast together. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. So she was diagnosed with cancer and she's explaining this. Oh. She was also a therapist <laughs> as he was growing up and explaining like what things do to you as you grow up and like the damage that happens oh, i know a lot about this i listen to a lot of dr drew's stuff and then she the dies day. three weeks after oh. they, yeah she died three weeks after <laughs> they recorded that show oh that blows so is the show still on obviously oh it's okay. a new netflix show it came out of 420 oh i didn't know that sorry oh my god that's so that's so fucking i swear to god we're all connected somehow i haven't yeah, figured I it agree. out yet just watch it. You'll know how. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, probably tonight as after after I call Stephanie. But you can't watch it and listen to it at the same time. It's no. impossible. Like oh. the graphics and the words don't match. It's like two separate storylines happening at once. That's weird. So you got to listen to it first and then watch it. Uh, yeah, or I'm vice versa. Yeah. Vice versa. Vice, 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 
Pierce, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> Who cares how you pronounce it? Um, yeah, I think, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> so, uh, call with you, number three. Number four, I got a job offer, a crazy fucking one. I mean, a few. Yeah, but you told me about that. It sounds awesome. No, and I don't want to say much right now in case this actually gets released before we work out any legalities because this guy is way too fucking smart for his own good. Like, way too smart for his own good and too smart to the point where I'm worried about signing a contract that he writes for this job because it's a startup. I get equity, and I'm very afraid that this guy might be smarter than me, which is that's not something I deal with on a daily basis level <laughs> like i, I, like I hate it sounds system. arrogant and not though it's just i mean i know a, no i people tell it. me that every day but every day intelligence come with the idea that you are smarter than everyone around you because majority of the time you are but i don't believe that i just hear it but no no, no. you do believe it a small part of you believes it that's small why you come of off me, that way um I, tell uh, me when was the last time you talked to it another human that was at the same level with you 100% of the time. It was you on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Thank you. But that's what I'm saying. It's not common. Like, I'm a, a stranger all the way in Dallas, Texas, and you're yeah. in Arizona. Uh-huh. You don't interact with me on a daily basis. That's it's true. It's not normal to interact with someone that's similar to you on a daily basis. And mm. if you do, you come off as a dick, like well, I do all the time. I will tell you this. All of my friends say... When I first met you, you were a real asshole. Of course. I thought. Intelligence. I, thought, I didn't realize you were just sarcastic. Like, to the point where I didn't know you were joking. No, so now you I, I have to turn it, tone it down. Like, what? I have to be, like, fake nice now. I have why? to tone my... No! People no, can't deal with it. No, people can't. That's why. People can't deal with it. And I'm in marketing no, and sales. So oh. I need to. Oh, on the phone. Yeah, at work you No, in person as well. I actually, oh. I travel and I do marketing conferences and That's, I talk to people for a living. Uh, well, yes. in your... Uh, um, anyway, that's the end of my crazy day story. Let's get onto this uh, subject though. What do you think that is doing to you emotionally and, and I guess mentally uh, having to constantly not be yourself? I've gotten so good at it to the point I know when I come home, I could be who I am, which. So you can play that role for 12 hours a day. Oh, no yeah. Problem. Because that, I, I learned to be a chameleon in public all the time. And oh, because of your uh, upbringing or lack yeah. of, you know what I mean? The, well, no, that was like one of the things my mom instilled in me. Whatever gosh. happens behind closed doors, stay behind closed doors. Yes. So I got so used to faking even being happy, I faked it for so long. Okay. And it's easy now. Oh, sorry. You were welcome to continue. That just opened up another whole door. You probably don't want to go down. Is it possible that your mother instilled that in you because she was hitting you? What do you mean? Like to, to what, what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. Yeah. Is so that you wouldn't do anything about the abuse. It was her way of controlling me. Yep. Okay. No one knowing that I was getting abused for years. Like only one teacher found out in high that school so and didn't even report fucking, it. It's insidious, like at, at its best. <laughs> like, yeah. oh my God. Like I, she would beat the shit out of me right before I had to go to a party with oh, my sister's friends. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's fine, it's, sad, it's sad, but fuck it. I mean, we're fucking killing it right now. So who cares? <laughs> But it, it did shape our character, I suppose. Yeah, it did. It made me a great salesman. And yeah. manipulative as shit. Like, I know I manipulate the fuck out of people I all the time. can't. That's... Oh, my God, dude. I can't. See, I was actually, honestly, as a joke, going to ask you. So is this your thing? You just call people up, like, from the sales company, and you talk each one of them into doing a podcast with you? And then you just <laughs> get each one and then run it through, like... um uh, I don't know, some sort of, uh, like, test situation and see, like, how it does, like, with, you know, some sort of test demographic. That would be a genius And idea. then if it works, if you get sums up, it goes on. <laughs> no, I wish I thought of that. But that also takes too much time I know. that I don't feel like putting into other people. So, 
Um, it's so funny. You <laughs> fuck people, right? Yes. Dude, I'm telling you, they're the worst. Seriously. <laughs> You're not a person? I knew it. Alien. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm, uh, yeah. I, uh, I really am uh, a misanthrope. Uh, but <laughs> for some reason, everybody seems to be drawn to me. And I haven't figured out why yet. I mean, I, obviously, obviously, there's something to do with the positivity, um, intelligence, and... Uh, I guess the narcissism. You forgot that one. I forgot the narcissism, but yeah. I, I'm gener- you. I think you have a bad read on that one. I really am not a fan of myself. <laughs> so, I know. I could tell. I just. But I keep uh, saying that because you're gonna make other people think you're a narcissism. By oh yeah, because of things. the. Inte- I know. I do. It happens all the time. People are like, "You are really full of yourself." I'm like, "I'm not though. <laughs> I got tons of flaws. I'll tell you them all. I'm an open book." <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> yeah, Please. I need you. Don't leave me. And then I start crying, and then you call. <laughs> I go through the same. <laughs> I have that problem too. <laughs> it's fucking. Oh my god, it's so so sad. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, you want one final, I guess, uh, topic or? No, I want to know. Sure. Is this something we're going to continue doing? I fucking hope so. Me too. This is <laughs> insane. <laughs> like, seriously, I don't... I don't what in you a year from now, Kismet? Kismet? a year from now, we're going to be at a show performing <laughs> in front of thousands of people. That's going to be tough because... going to happen. Stage fright. <laughs> Dude, I, I told you, I'd put you behind the curtain. I'll, I'll stand in front of the curtain. <laughs> My silhouette, my fat ass silhouette. No, I'll, dude, if I can do it from behind a curtain, absolutely. Yeah, we'll have someone well, animate me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine too. Technology is great, Get, getting pretty, pretty <laughs> snazzy. My, my guitar teacher said he'd write our theme song. <laughs> do it. Yes, I'm okay with that. You want a theme actually, song for next week? Yes. Or for if you wanted to do weekly or weekly, because that makes more sense. Let's do weekly. So yeah. just. Uh, I didn't record this, by the way, because I could not get both Oh, channels. I'm recording it. I know. So please, um, I guess, send it to me when you get a chance. Yeah, um, I'll email it to you. <laughs> I'll get a theme song set up for next week. Dun, and dun, I'll dun, get... Dun, uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> is that how you want it to sound? No, I don't know. Uh, what, what kind it's, of instrument? It's just what came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>